But as you can see, it is pretty impressive. I can't believe I chat half of my battery power on wrong stuff. <laughs> These particular ferns are kind of unusual. The ones that have those large lobe leaves usually prefer sort of coniferous soil. But they exist in several locations around here. It's cool, the trail's just overgrown and strange enough to almost be like a mild wilderness experience. I mean, it was really annoying to wander around for an hour and a half lost because the blazing's half-assed, but it's not the first time I've experienced this. And like in all the other situations. Once you actually find the thing that Al scouted and his colleagues put together, the <laughs> minor irritations of bureaucrat malfeasance quickly vaporize. With luck I'll shut up about it before too long. Oh, this is good. another thing you run into a lot in the North Shore. It looks almost like it's related to iris and it stays green fairly late in the year. Oh, I almost forgot Mr. Nifty Fifty. That wouldn't do. So we came, I, or my a tapeworm carrier, I came all the way from Route 133 that direction and it eventually takes you to Plum Island, a mere town away. And I'm heading in this direction with any luck. I'll get to Ipswich with minimal fuss and travail. Having already handled my travail up front. <laughs> That'll be interesting to see what this route's through. Ah, turn indicated with a blaze. Hoo-hoo. Ah, the blue of some tarpaulin stuff in the distance. Could it be that I'm once more returning to that which passes for civilization? I could end up stranded in Ipswich for a while, but I could imagine far worse fates. This is cool if we come to a non-photogenic and not terribly important public road, that's it will leave me battery time for something else. Yeah, there's some cool little folk cairns. People who live here must have made. This isn't actually terribly long. I've actually already been through all of this today. We're still in the section that I found and retraced after wasting a bunch of time lost. 
Hi, Pooch. Oh, it's a deer. <laughs> wow. A little nervous. <laughs> Big one, too. <laughs> it's laying low up there, watching me for, from a distance. All right, I figured out another critical turn problem. This blaze is sort of stupidly placed. It makes you think you're supposed to go down there somewhere. Or maybe you think it means you're going down there and you would be wrong. But it's naturally where the eye takes you. There should be a blaze on this tree right in front of you. And you're also partly distracted by this blowdown that actually lies in the middle of the correct trail. So let this blowdown be your guide. That's how we get out of here. Ooh, and there's a bumblebee. Minding its own business. Enjoying some sun. Go bumblebee. back, the way ahead, while well, being ever alert, blazes, there's the fine red berry thing I spotted earlier, Princess Pine is making its presence known. Yeah, at the end of the day, I'm always brought back to a sense of wonderment at just how pleasant and interesting and subtly varied and refreshing Eastern Massachusetts woods are. And the Bay Circuit is just a superb gigantic necklace of the things <laughs> with all their diversity and variations. <laughs> A lot of shelf fungi. Brackets. I wonder what the income bracket is. And look, there's an archaic white blaze indicating they've been thinking about this section for a while. Ah, now we're coming some McMansions that I had to annoy when I got lost the first round. The trail sensibly winds a little bit to the side of the backyard to limit intrusion. The plaintive cry of a late day blue jay. Careens across the understory. Done with this thing, which is about where we're going. I think when I cross out of it, I've actually entered Ipswich. Oh, there's another vandalized blaze remnant, or perhaps a new approach. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
to be at the end of this thing. I haven't gotten this elaborately lost in a while. Thank you. 